What is the secret behind Ferrari's new project 676 and its focus on aerodynamics for the 2024 F1 season? Well, nestled in Maranello, the design phase of Project 676 is nearing completion, laying the groundwork for the next phase of this thrilling endeavor. The engineers, armed with valuable data from simulators and test benches, are striving to roll out a well-balanced car on the track, poised to harness the maximum potential of all the modifications made in recent months. The heart of these transformations lies in the chassis. The new design of this skeleton has addressed certain defects present in the SF23, paired with a restyling of the front suspension system and a revision of the undercut area. But that's not all. The rear end has also had a makeover. The alterations in shapes and geometries aim to increase the rear diffuser's exit area. Why, you ask? The intention is to enhance the volume of air extracted from the bottom and, consequently, generate higher aerodynamic downforce. Now, the gearbox, transmission and differential are elements of the 2023 car that, due to their size, restricted an increase in the diffuser's exit section. These two components, the cogs behind the car's motion, are embedded in the rear of the chassis. The lower part of the monocoque curves around the transmission and gearbox effectively jump-starting the diffuser. However, the task was not without its challenges. The mechanical limitations with which the technicians, led by Enrico Cardile, worked were far from negligible. Reducing the size of the titanium box that encloses these components may have necessitated the downsizing of these gears, potentially leading to reliability issues. In addition to this, all accessory elements such as synchronizers, wheel engagement shafts, and linkages to move the gears when the driver gives input with the paddle may have been similarly streamlined. This meticulous design phase has been carried out with an eye on the regulations. Each car has eight gearbox sets available for use within a season, with a single opportunity for development related to transmission components between 2022 and 2025. With the design phase complete, the focus now shifts to the delicate assembly phase, where every small detail can be crucial for the future. The assembly phase of Project 676 is underway, but what challenges does it pose? The assembly phase is a delicate dance of precision, where every tiny detail can significantly impact the car's future performance. One of the main challenges lies in reducing the size of the gearbox and transmission. These components, essential for the car's motion, are nestled in the rear of the chassis. To increase the rear diffuser's exit area and improve aerodynamics, Ferrari's engineers have been tasked with reducing the size of the titanium box that houses these crucial elements. However, this reduction in size isn't without its potential pitfalls. The gearbox and transmission box function primarily thanks to gears that seamlessly mesh together. Reducing the size of these gears could potentially lead to reliability issues. Similarly, accessory elements such as synchronizers, wheel engagement shafts, and linkages that move the gears when the driver gives input may also have to be resized and streamlined. The regulatory framework of F1 doesn't make this task any easier. According to the technical regulations, Article 9.5, there is only one opportunity to develop transmission components between 2022 and 2025. This modification can only be made once and solely for the reasons of reliability and cost reduction. Ferrari, with its keen eye for strategy, has leveraged this opportunity. The goal? To reduce the size of the gearbox and transmission, gaining an aerodynamic advantage on the diffuser. However, these measures have to be executed without producing performance advantages. The technical team, led by Enrico Cardile, has made significant strides in the search for a new metal alloy. This new material needs to possess the same mechanical characteristics as the previous gearbox, but in a smaller dimension. Steels with alloy components such as nickel, molybdenum, and chromium have been put under the microscope, with the aim of increasing the material's yield strength. With these measures in place, Ferrari's Project 676 seems set to revolutionize the 2024 F1 season with its focus on aerodynamics. The larger diffuser should therefore be judged as an indirect consequence, 